Oh no, my windscreen's a bit dirty. Let's give it a wash. It's into the sun, so it'll be silhouetted a bit. This is Darsham. I've got family from around this way. Can't remember who it was. Years and years ago, lived on a farm in Darsham. Oh, here we go. Is it one that's going to stop? We always play a game, which direction and how many carriages. I can't do it now because I can see the bugger. One. Two. <laughs> that was a biggie. Off we go. Those are the electricity pylons that take the power away from Sizewell Nuclear Power Station. And I did say nuclear and not nuclear. <laughs> wow. I thought I'd miss the sunset because I went to Tesco's to get some grapes and some pepperami. Do you know, I've got to stop eating pepperami. I'm sure they're not good for my waistline. You can see, um, I reckon that's Mercury, because Mercury usually follows the sun down. You probably can't see it, because this is a very wide angle lens. There you go. That's beautiful. Anyway, home would we go. Nurse listening to this, wondering how you could be worth seven. That's million. the Bugle podcast. There's Snape Malting's concert hall on the left. They have some wonderful concerts there. I was very lucky that when I was a lad, that's about oh, 20 minutes bike ride away, and it's an internationally renowned concert hall. They've got their Christmas trees up. So I've seen all sorts of concerts there, mainly classical, which is cool. I just can't get over what a beautiful colour the sky is tonight. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I say tonight, this is the trouble this time of year, it's 19 minutes past four. It's already almost pitch black. You know, I think if I had loads and loads of money, I'd stick around England till Christmas. Because Christmas in England is good. You know, I think January or February time, I probably would bugger off somewhere where it's a bit warmer. Mr. Moon is up. Anyway, that's the most exciting thing that's happened to me today. Ta ta! Bye, -zy bye! Do you know, I'm still in my hire van because my Vauxhall Vivaro is still in for repairs. And I don't know why it's taken nearly two weeks to source a spring, but there you go. My thoughts on this transit. Now I've never ever been a snob and I've never thought 
that VW or German cars are inherently better than anyone else's or anything like that. The only car I wouldn't have again is a Fiat because I had a Fiat once, it was about two years old and it fell apart around my ears. Went like shit off a shovel. Fuck, that was close. But this transit is so bumpy it's giving me backache. The suspension isn't great and I'll show you now. Oh, I can't. Here come another car. That's full beam. Fuck me, a firefly in a jam jar would be brighter than that. I keep I keep getting people flashing me because I can't tell whether I'm full beam or dipped beam. A dipped beam, there's there's no adjustment in this fan um, to level your headlights due to your load in the back. And on dipped beam, I don't know, perhaps they're just adjusted badly, but these are on the ground look. And as for full beam, well that's shit. Absolute shit. I've pulled into where I park up at night, just one of my company's buildings. There's my little Peugeot, which has a fault on it at the moment and is running like a bastard. It has a, a uh, depollution system fault. Now, depollution is a new word I've never heard of. Anyway, let's have an interesting review. This review is called Vape versus Fags. Now I gave up smoking and I went cold turkey with nothing. About ooh, 18 months, nearly two years ago. And since then I've really enjoyed my vapes. It's only a cheap one that you get from Tesco's, but it's about 20 quid. And the vape liquid is about four quid or something and that lasts me nearly the week so it's a hell of a lot cheaper than smoking i don't mind that at all adam from adam and val is an expert on vaping the adam and val youtube on podcast and the youtube channel but the other day i got about 20 miles from home and I realised I'd forgot my vape and I thought can I go a whole day I got to about 2 o'clock and I really felt the urge and it's Christmas time which is when I usually have a cigar or two anyway so I went to Tesco's Express and bought 20 Marlboro Red harsh cigarette I knew but that's what I used to smoke really harsh cigarettes because a new vape and liquid would be 25 quid and I thought shit I don't want to spend 25 quid just to get me out of this nervous hole I've got myself into which is all psychological I suppose although I suppose nicotine is a chemical addiction but so I bought 20 more well that was nearly two weeks ago and I've still got six left and I've thought, well, I'll keep them and I'll smoke them a bit, one by one. But I don't like them as much as I remember. It just feels dirty, you know? And I noticed that, that even if I have like one cigarette or two cigarettes a day, when I put this jumper back on, or this fleece, back on in the morning, it does smell of cigarettes. And it makes me, it gives me a bigger nicotine rush and makes me head spin a bit. But I've been taking a few puffs and just putting them out, actually. I've even had a few puffs and chuck, chucked them in the bin, put them out and chucked them in the bin. So, I don't think I'm a natural smoker anymore. I, see, that's just... That's not doing it for me anymore. I'm going to put that out. 
Now, whether vaping is better for you or not, I have no scientific or medical evidence, but I don't cough like I used to when I was smoking. Um, I reckon I had my first cigarette when I was nine. I'm 46 now, so I probably gave up about 45, 44. I just find vaping a bit purer. It gives me a little nicotine hit that my, obviously chemically my body craves, but it doesn't make me feel like crap. And those, perhaps, no. Oh, good job I went for Marlboro Red actually, because if I'd gone for something really mild, I might have got back into the habit. So I keep these cigarettes in my van, I don't smoke in the van, but I don't really miss smoking, to tell you the truth. But I was always a roly guy. And I didn't want to buy a big pouch of roly backer because that would last me for well, a couple of weeks almost. And I didn't want to go down the route of being a couple of weeks smoking, but it has been because I haven't really enjoyed them to tell you the truth. So if you want to give up smoking, go cold turkey like I did for a while and then I had divorce and problems at work and this, that and the other and I needed a crutch and this was a good crutch. But that doesn't make me cough if you get the right liquid. And liquids are all different. So I bought a liquid not that long ago that made me cough like a bastard. So... Just my thoughts. No science behind it. Just my own opinion. This is good night.